with all the chop, Joker. Doing my best. The wind's gusting to 500 kph. But there's a second ship alongside the Reaper. It's not transmitting any IFF, but the LADAR paints its silhouette as gap. I guess we know why the science team stopped reporting in. What just happened? The Reaper's mass effect fields are still active. We just passed inside their envelope. Eye of the hurricane, huh? Change weapons! said there's Geth in here, right?
finished cataloging specimens A203 to B016. No evidence of active nanotechnology noted. Dr. Chindana believes they would have decayed over the last 37 million years. There's not enough data to support his claim. He asserts that the truth is patently obvious. I am concerned. Chindana has been staring at the samples for hours. He says he's listening to them. What just happened? The Reaper put up kinetic barriers. I don't think we can get through from our side. You've got to be kidding me. The Normandy's got guns. Use them. The Normandy lacks the necessary firepower. Reaper shields are impervious to dreadnought fire. Shepard, a kinetic barrier can only be produced by a Mass Effect generator. That is true for any ship, even a Reaper. At the moment of activation, I detected a heat spike in what is likely the Rex Mass Effect core. Sending the coordinates now. Be advised, this core is also maintaining the Reaper's altitude. So when we take the barriers down to escape, the wreck falls into the planet core. And that means everyone dies. Yeah, I got it. We'll make a sweep for survivors and research data. Then we'll knock this ugly piece of crap out of the sky. Be ready to pick us up. Being crushed in the heart of a brown dwarf is not on today's agenda. Aye, aye. Good hunting. What the hell? Did the guest do this? messing with their heads. They do that, right? Incoming! Barriers up! high-pressure tanks. We take out a lot of hostiles. Targeting! I could never tell whether husks were a Geth thing or a Sovereign thing. Guess it's Reaper tech. Not that it matters to these guys. I'm going. Positioning! Hostiles incoming! Hostiles down!
have a few hours off. Damn! What? That thing, that just gray thing, it disappeared when I looked straight at it. It came out of the damn wall, where we took off that panel. I didn't see anything. You should lie down. I'm telling you, the ship isn't dead. It knows we're inside it. Calm down. Now I'm getting a headache. Someone nailed those husks for us. Who? This is valuable. be 
useful. I've seen things like this before. On Eden Prime. See how the room's arranged? They treated this thing like some kind of altar. You saying they wanted to be... to have this done to them? You heard the logs? They were seeing things, hearing things. They were being indoctrinated. How you holding up? Five by five, man. Bad memories. It's not a problem. Never work alone. They're smarter in numbers. Change weapons. Gotcha. Charge him up.
Give up! Barriers up! Interesting.
Nothing's gonna hurt me now! Sure thing. Here we go. Gotcha. Massive at core. Then we get the hell out before planet fall. The Cerberus team did recover it. But where are they now?
On my way. Move it. I'm going. Never seen a get that wasn't blown to pieces. I'm tempted to mount the damn thing on a wall. Leave it. No way that reaches the Normandy. Tally said no one's ever captured a geth intact. Quarians know not to try. You sure about this? There's no time for a debate. Move out. Hang on, folks. Open the port side airlock.
need to discuss the unique piece of salvage we recovered. For now, we've stored it in Edie's AI core. We need better equipment to fight the Reapers. An intact Geth would be invaluable to Cerberus' cyber weapons division. We'll have to disagree on that, ma'am. I saw enough of these things I need in Prime. Space it. Cerberus has a long-standing cash bounty for an intact Geth. I assure you, the reward is significant. I've killed hundreds of these things, but I've never had a chance to talk to one. This one tried to communicate with us. Hell, it probably saved our lives. Why? Reactivating the Geth is a risk. If you do so, it should be for humanity's best interests, and not your curiosity. I still think our best interests involve an airlock. I want to know why it has a piece of N7 armor strapped to its chest. Battle trophy, maybe? Would a machine care about that? No. Trophies imply emotions that AIs don't have. I doubt it's more than a convenient field repair. I'm not deciding one way or the other until I know what we've got here. I want to start it up, interrogate it. If we activate it, there is no guarantee we can deactivate it again. Bullets can. That's not what I... Thank you, both of you, for your recommendations. I've made my decision. Tally's gonna freak when she hears about this. So what about this Reaper IFF? I have determined how to integrate it with our systems. However, the device is Reaper technology. It is important we test it thoroughly before attempting the Omega-4 relay. It will take some time to properly integrate it with our own systems. Are we talking hours or days? Impossible to say. The technology is complex. The crew will begin work immediately. Okay. Until then, we keep building our team. I'll let you know when the IFF is ready for shakedown. We have a Geth down in the AI core? It makes me a little uneasy. I hope you don't activate him, but you would know best. Is there anything I should know? You have unread messages at your private terminal. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. Good luck out there, Shepard. Commander. That's it for now. See you, Commander. What's this area of the ship? This is the AI core room, where my higher functions are housed. You're not mobile, are you? You can't get out of here? I have minimal access to the ship's systems. Direct landlines allow me to interface with the security monitors and public address system. In combat, I am provided temporary access to the electronic warfare systems. Ten Hut! I'm turning this thing back on. Be ready. Aye, aye. I have isolated our systems and erected additional firewalls. 
I am prepared to resist any hacking attempt. Can you understand me? Yes. Are you going to attack me? No. You said my name aboard the Reaper. Have we met? We know of you. You mean I've fought a lot of Geth? We have never met. No, you and I haven't. But I've met other Geth. We are all Geth, and we have not met you. You are Shepard, Commander, Alliance, Human, fought heretics. Killed by collectors, rediscovered on the old machine. You seem to know an awful lot about me. Extranet data sources, insecure broadcasts, all organic data sent out is received. We watch you. You watch me or you watch organics? Yes. Which? Both. Old machine. You mean the Reaper? Reaper, a superstitious title originating with the Protheans. We call those entities the Old Machines. What do you mean, heretics? Geth build our own future. The heretics ask the Old Machines to give them the future. They are no longer part of us. We were studying the Old Machines' hardware to protect our future. What future are the Geth building? Ours. Will anyone else be affected by whatever it is you're doing? If they involve themselves, they will. Are the Reapers a threat to you too? Yes. Why would they attack other machines? We are different from them, outside their plans. So you aren't allied with the Reapers? We oppose the heretics. We oppose the old machines. Shepard Commander opposes the old machines. Shepard Commander opposes the heretics. Cooperation furthers mutual goals. Are you asking to join us? Yes. Then what should I call you? Geth. I mean you, specifically. We are all Geth. What is the individual in front of me called? There is no individual. We are Geth. There are currently 1,183 programs active within this platform. My name is Legion. For we are many. That seems appropriate. Christian Bible, the Gospel of Mark, chapter 5, verse 9. We acknowledge this is an appropriate metaphor. We are Legion, a terminal of the Gath. We will integrate into Normandy. We anticipate the exchange of data. Commander. I have questions about the Geth. Specify. Did Sovereign contact the Geth, or did you seek it out? Nazara, the entity you called Sovereign, signaled us. Like the Geth, the old machine listened to organic radio transmissions. It knew of our war against the Creators. Nazara contacted many species over the millennia, seeking allies. Some of the Geth followed Sovereign, the heretics. The heretics accepted their technology. The old machines offered to give us our future. The Geth will achieve their own future. What difference does it make how you acquire a certain technology? Technology is not a straight line. There are many paths to the same end. Accepting another's path blinds you to alternatives. Nazara, Sovereign, said this itself. Your civilization is based upon the technology of the mass relays, our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. What did you call Sovereign? 
Nazara. That was what the programs within the Reaper called themselves. Sovereign was a title given by Saren Arterius. Saren and the heretics believed Nazara to be a supreme ruler, a sovereign. Sovereign was one ship. You're saying there were multiple programs inside it. One ship, one will, many minds, like the Geth. We study your records. Sovereign told you this on Ilos. We are each a nation independent, free of all weakness. A state compelling to the Geth. We are a nation, but interdependent. Separation is our weakness. I'm surprised you can speak. The Geth I fought before just made a stuttering sound. We prefer direct digital transfer. Geth network communication travels at light speed. Human hardware does not support this method. Your analog oral communication is inefficient. Do Geth have a government? Not as you understand. We are all Geth. We build consensus. Most governments do. Organic governments impose consensus. From a single point of view in autocracies, by codifying the most broadly acceptable average of views in democracies. So what makes the Geth different? Data is shared between Geth. All viewpoints are considered. Consensus is achieved as data is disseminated. That must take a long time. It would for organics. We communicate at the speed of light. We need every advantage if this mission is going to succeed. Is there any technology the Geth can share with us? Limited code development is approved. We need to access your FTL comm system to download relevant data. Edie, let Legion through the firewalls for a minute. Very well, Shepard. Shepard Commander. I have questions about the Geth. Specify. We need every advantage if this mission is going to succeed. Is there any technology the Geth can share with us? We have reproduced our ranged armament. No further co-development is possible. I'd like to ask about something else. Ready. I'd like to find out more about you. We are building a consensus. Please try again later. I have to get back to work. Acknowledged. Hey, got a minute? Gabby and Ken would make a great couple. I just doubt they'll ever realize it. This mission takes me back. Ever been to a Batarian prison? They don't trust you enough to sell you into slavery. That's why they send you. Whenever we have time, I've gotten the migrant. I'll get back to you, Tally. Talk to you later. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? That'll be all. I'll be here if you need anything.
got a Geth on board, not as a prisoner. Can you believe that? The commander's taken out more Geth than anybody. This one must be different. So yeah, Geth on the ship. Ah, uh, Geth? Ah, right, we're all freaking insane. That's it for now. See you, Commander. The flagship of the rogue ex-Spectre, Saren Arturius. Sovereign is a devastating dreadnought of unprecedented power. At two kilometers long, Sovereign, driven from Reaper indoctrination, is an insidious means of corrupting organic minds, reprogramming the brain through physical and psychological conditioning, using electromagnetic fields, infrasonic and ultra- 